Wow. Alright guys, so the Stanford Prison Experiment. In the Stanford Prison Experiment, we focus on 18 college students from Stanford, obviously. And 9 of them are guards, and 9 of them are prisoners in this experiment known as the Stanford Prison Experiment. And what this is, is it is a two week long experience of seeing how people's behavioral patterns would change, or how college students' behavioral patterns will change in these two weeks just from being in an experiment like this, being treated like they were actually in a prison, and also for the, bot for the guards, portraying guards, and see how all of them in interact with one another. And this was actually canceled every six days due to things that I won't spoil because you have to see the movie, but that's our basic story. I was extremely excited for this movie. This movie had, first of all, a stellar cast. We have Billy Crudup, Moises Arias, Ezra Miller, Ty Sheridan. Just overall, a very good cast for this movie. Also, I like the subject that they're talking about. I thought it was very like interesting, talking about how this experiment kind of went awry only at even, even before a week. And overall, I just thought the material was very interesting. So finally, I got a chance to see it. And how was it? Well, let's find out. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the best movie of the year. Like, it could change. It could interchange with Inside Out at some point, maybe later this year. But holy crap, this is a perfect movie. I absolutely, I love this movie with such a pet. It's so good. Let me explain why. First of all, the acting by everyone is, that's really the main standout thing about this movie. It is wonderfully acted. Ezra Miller does a fantastic job in this movie. He, he's perfect. A lot of people say that he overacts this movie, but I didn't actually think that. I really thought that he showed as he was getting crazier and crazier as, as this experiment went on for longer and longer. I thought he did an excellent job of portraying that. Ty Sheridan also does a really good job in this movie. He... <laughs> He definitely uh, recovered from his last movie this year, Scott's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, in which this one he gives a very dramatic and realistic performance. You really cared about his character. I enjoyed that. As well as the rest of the cast, which I don't really know the kid, the rest of the kids. I mean, Thomas Mann shows up at one point. He's pretty good. Logan Miller, who's also in Scout's Guide, is in this movie. He does a very good job. And also we have the professor of all this, uh, Dr. Philip. Zombar Zimbardo being played by Billy Crudup and he does a fantastic job as well. You can tell this professor is very invested in this experiment and he wants to get the most accurate results you could ever get and he cares about how the results are going to turn out in the end. So I really thought that he did a great job. Also the writing and directing here is phenomenal. It's very hard to watch this movie, I'm not going to lie, but it is crafted so well and from what I know. It seems like it did a very uh, ac accurate portrayal of what this experiment was actually like. And just watching these kids go through this is very just, it's unsettling and it just makes you feel dirty. And it's like, it gets under my skin, but in the best possible way it could. The direction here is also really good. When there are intense moments, even though there's not like action -y stuff going on, like no one's like gonna freaking jump out the Empire State Building or anything. But when when there's like dialogue driven uh, ac action scenes, those are really well directed and the tension is definitely palpable. And overall, I thought that it was directed phenomenally. Also, what I liked about the movie is the cinematography. It has like a yellow sort of tint to it, but it also kind of seems like it was a real prison, like, I, even though it's just a hallway, just the simulation itself makes it seem like an exact prison, and you feel like you're there with them, and you just, it, it's very uncomfortable, and it, it's not the most easy movie to watch, this movie is only an hour and 58 minutes, like, just regular movie time, and I'm not gonna lie, it felt like three hours, because it's very, very, very hard to watch, and you're kind of just like, uh, can, can this end already? But you're kind of not because you also want to see how well this movie is made. So overall, I thought the Sanford Prison Experiment was an excellent movie. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do so. As of right now, it's better than Inside Out. It's my favorite movie of the year. I love it. So please see this if you haven't already. Overall, I'm going to give the Sanford Prison Experiment an A+. It is my favorite film of the year so far. And 
if you haven't seen it already, like I've said multiple times, please check it out. Alright guys, so those are my thoughts on the Stanford Prison Experiment. Now I want to hear what you thought. Did you think this movie was as amazing as I thought it was? Did you think it was pretty good, but nothing like I said it was? Whatever you thought about this movie, please comment below and let me know because we can have a chat and I want to talk to you about this movie. And also, next review coming up, most likely, I'm not promising this will, this will be the next one, but... Most likely, it'll, it'll be in, in the heart of the sea because I have a screening for that next Tuesday. So, look forward to that early review. Yeah. And, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And until my next review, I'm Random Mr. Paul One. I will see you all later.